guess I don't need the key. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. Say I ever saw another shell like it. Guess this helmet's beyond repair.
Sure, you get the adverts. Time to figure this out. We don't have time to pick it. Grab the papers, smash the rest. Adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. been erased. The old papers are by the door. Take them and stop bothering me already. I think you've got me confused with someone else. Aren't you a newcomer? Yeah, I guess I am a newcomer. Charles Reed, private investigator. And I also need your old newspapers, uh, the archive to be exact. Ah, so, so you're the one who cracked the Albert Throgmorton murder case. Nice work. I'm Helen Bland. Say, can you do me a favor? Give me an exclusive interview. You won't regret it. The Oakmont Chronicle is the best newspaper for miles around. All right, I'll uh, be sure to make some time for you, Miss Bland. Do you still want that interview? I, uh, I got some time now, if you're ready. Oh, absolutely. We know that you're the private eye who solved the case, but... Tell our reader something more about yourself. I'm a former Navy diver. Served on the USS Cyclops and... Well, after the war, I found myself in Boston. I've been a private eye ever since. Oh, a brave sailor. Well, I imagine you'll get accustomed to local life easily. We have plenty of water around here. Uh, maybe we'll have the chance to work together later. <laughs> Who knows? And now the big question. Why are you here? What brought you to Oakmont? Currently, I'm tracking down the source of the psychic phenomenon that's been causing madness and visions all across the country. Ah, yes. Uh, it affected people here, but... We were much more concerned with the Flood, though Robert Throgmorton sent an expedition. Yeah, and then hired me to find it. Ironic, don't you think? 
I think that's enough for now. I can't give the readers too much all at once. Thank you for your interview, Mr. Reed. My pleasure. And maybe I'll do something interesting enough to make the papers again. You never know. See you later. stand up to them. Please help me. I'm looking for Captain Sanders. Is he here in the port? Did the creatures get him? Uh, I saw Sanders. Help me. I, I, I'll tell you what I know. every chamber. Ah, still stinks of burnt powder. Shot dead. Went blank. Ah, the monsters sure didn't leave behind much. to a man. This would be a weird artifact in any collection.
have dealt with the creatures. Now, tell me about Sanders. He got back several hours ago. Those things, they came because of him. This Sanders, what kind of man is he? Uh, newcomer. He seemed like a decent guy. Okay, Captain. Treated his crew well. I gotta find Sanders. Where is he? Saw him get away. Just after the shooting. Ran for the pier. Didn't see where he went after that. Did, uh... Did you see anyone else from the expedition? No. Only Sanders. I'd bet my life no one else made it back. spirits, and plenty of them were drinking. Cape Cod. The remarks here, but they've been erased. You can't take me! Eat this! To the mayor with you! Ugh. Die! Die! No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum? Let's get a handle on what actually happened here. No more drink. All we've seen. And you telling me we ain't allowed rum. To the mayor with you! Ugh. Die! Die! Ugh. You can't! Take me! Eat this! For whatever reason, the crew went berserk. Only one man got away. curse these days. Patient or visitor? Hold on, hold on. Let Dr. Grant guess. A visitor. Though you are a bit pale, you don't have a headache, do you? The usual. Nothing to write home about. Ah, a chronic headache sufferer. 
Fascinating. Uh, by coincidence, I was studying Helminth and their role in illness uh, before the flood. Uh, did you know that all of us are infected by Helminth? Y your headaches could indicate that they have infested your brain. That's news to me, Doc. It sounds serious. Hmm. May I suggest you become a subject in my experimental medical program? Experimental medicine. Well, I guess it can't be any worse than the asylum in Boston. Count me in. Uh, I'm delighted to hear that, Mr... Uh, uh, Reed. Charles Reed. Mr. Reed, take these pills with some water. They're a potent measure against parasites. Contact me when you feel improvement. <laughs> you give me, Doc? Is something wrong? You seem perfectly healthy to me. Your medicine blinded me, and then it gave me these visions. Worse than a blow to the head. What are you trying to pull? Intriguing. These side effects are a new development. I'll have to run some more tests. Let me know if anything else happens, won't you? I'm looking for a man. Just checked in. Uh, cut up pretty bad. I've got a trauma unit full of patients like that, sir. Okay, um, this might ring a bell. My guy has a deep axe wound in his shoulder. Sir, I really don't have time for rifling through paperwork. But you're welcome to take a look at our archives if it means that much to you. It looks like hard work in these conditions. You need a hand? Well, yes, actually. But it may result in close contact with the wiles. Is that going to be a problem? I'm prepared to face men and beasts alike. Count me in. Ah, I can see it in your eyes. Well, I have taken it upon myself to study the wild beasts, but need more data to confirm two of my hypotheses. One concerns the multi-handed creatures, and the other the vomiting humanoids. What have you found out about the multi-handed beasts? One of my patients saw them in his nightmares before the flood. I can't visit him, but he must know something. Here's his address. Uh, those hideous wretches seem almost... human. But what could turn one into such a monstrosity? Jim Bells, a patient of mine, was admitted to hospital with symptoms resembling cholera, but he turned into one of those things. Incredible. Here's the address. Find out what happened. Bye. to you, mister. Pete, explosion, fishing with dynamite, it hurts talking. Fishing with dynamite, huh? You sure it wasn't from a fight in port? Maybe on a ship? I'm sure. Oh, please, leave.
Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. shoulder uh, some psycho in a bar brawl gun came out he clipped me good in the shoulder something I can help you with I'm just looking for someone uh, Captain Sanders Captain Sanders never heard of him I'm Joseph Willow you, you should probably look somewhere else <sighs> that's funny the records say you were admitted for an axe wound, just like a certain Captain Sanders got in the port massacre. Spill. Oh, to the depths with it. Who sent you? I'm asking the questions here, pal. Yeah, well, first tell me who you are. Charles Reed, Private Eye. Throgmorton wants to know what happened to his lost expedition. So Throgmorton came looking at last. I knew someone like you would find me sooner or later. I was on the Titania before I came here. It seems you were all hitting the bottle pretty hard. Why? To stop them from rioting. To save them from despair. After those dives, anyone would turn to drink. So, the diving did a number on your crew. But what happened in the port? I don't know. They were calm until we docked, and then... then they lost it. And many good men lost their lives. What were you looking for underwater? Uh, the cause of all this. The stones, the flood, the monsters. The scientists found cracks on the seabed. They were working on some theory of how it connected to the madness. The ocean floor splits open, and that means hysteria on land. Really. We spent days over the cracks. We heard things. Saw things looking back at us. I think it'd be an understatement to say your expedition met with disaster. There are things that should never be found, Mr. Reed. I only wish I'd known that then. Maybe they'd still be alive. The scientists, my crew, none of them deserved what happened to them. Tell me what happened on the last dive. We had a system. The divers go down, then come up at a prearranged time. But not one surfaced that day. In the end, I sent a team to check. They returned with Albert. But all were half mad with fear. Did you know Albert Throgmorton made it to shore? Albert survived? Is he here? No. He didn't make it. He's dead as the rest. Murdered in the port. But what about the others? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, we, um... Uh, my crew left them down there. Underwater. I ordered a rescue attempt, but they threatened mutiny. You've got a good reason for leaving the expedition to die, right? You, uh, you weren't there. Day after day on that ship, it was a horror, Mr. Reed. We saw... things. Not one of us dared sleep. It was an expedition into cursed waters, mark my words. 
you take me out to where the last dive took place? No, no. You can't follow them, Mr. Reed. It's suicide. Worse than suicide. I'm a Navy diver, Captain. And with all due respect, I'm not afraid of boogeymen. I don't care. I'm not taking you there. And besides, you'll never follow them without proper equipment. Do you know where I can get a good diving suit? My men got theirs from a local factory. If you're that bullheaded, I'll write down the address. Where's the logbook from the Titania? Well, I had it with me, but I was all out of it by the time I got here. I remember the surgery ward. When I came round, my things were gone. Get better soon. This wouldn't even hold air for a minute. I'm not trusting my life to a rusty suit.
chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. This stone isn't natural. Could it be a statue? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. The suits are all cut up. Ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. A ritual knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Sancta Mare, be our eyes, eyes to see the distant stars. Hark, he comes, the sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor. Take me, make me, I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes. First, second, third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. <laughs>
preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! Okay. What? It's shivering. This is... No! Get away from me! I think I'm starting to get the picture. We enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! Okay. What? It's shivering. This... Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! <laughs> we enter the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Okay. What? It's shivering. This... Uh, no! Uh, get away from me! Forget them! Get the seed and the seal now! The expedition found an artifact that drove them mad. And then the Innsmouthers stole it and the Professor in one go.
Uh, the mortician has touched him up well. Bad news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the Professor. Those degenerates, they dare get in my way. Your expedition found something buried in the ruins. The Innsmouthers were after it. They captured Professor Dell along with the artifact she was carrying. Artifact? What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your men found some kind of underwater temple. In it was an ancient artifact. The Innsmouthers call it the Seal. The Innsmouthers were lying in wait. Your men took the item, and the Innsmouthers took their chance and made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. How did they catch them off guard? Seems that after the Seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that. And waited for the right moment. They... They knew what was going to happen. Inconceivable. Wait a moment, how did you know they were Innsmouthers? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found. But she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. This smells of trouble. Innsmouthers seem irritable, and my doctor says the drowning's not too good for me. So... Why should I help? I'll pay you a decent sum for this job. And you came here to look into the madness, correct? Professor Doe shares those visions. She found something inside the ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. I can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Have a good day. <laughs> 